good money you guys huh? the struggle is real like nobody talks about like the struggle of waking up very early to attend classes <laughs> the struggle is real guys like you have to struggle to even like stand up from your bed because one is early two the weather is freaking cold like it snowed yesterday and yesterday was more or less like our three days which is monday we just have like seminars on monday so it's more or less like a free day just seminar and it's not yesterday so this morning is actually like very cold like extreme i've not checked the weather but like it's very cold and then you have to wake up to be in school by eight <laughs> Like the struggle is real, it's like Tuesdays and Wednesdays are more or less like a very busy day this semester because one the lecture starts like very early around eight, it means you have to wake up like pretty early. Why for Thursdays and Friday the lectures still start like nine, ten, which is still fair no, because by then you could have woken up and then at least the struggle is still a bit fair, but Tuesdays and Wednesdays, huh? The struggle to wake up is real, but anyway, we don't have a choice. We just have to keep on pushing Until when we get there until when we are done. So I'm about getting ready. I haven't vlogged in a week <laughs> So I just made up my mind that I'm gonna start vlogging um, this week so. so guys, I came to school today. Today is Saturday to use this background. I discovered like this very cute background here during the week. I used it to, you know, take like a very short video for my Instagram reels and also like my TikTok. If you are not following me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys are missing a lot and I'm going to put the link in the description box below please go ahead and follow me on instagram and also on tiktok so today is saturday i'm like you know what i'm gonna use this background to create videos because i stay in the school hostel and i stay like in the dorm and i've been looking out for like a very nice background that i can actually use you know something that is very nice and i feel like this background beats it okay so i'm going to show you guys what the background looks like i've also gone ahead to like set up my camera but one thing about this place is the fact that it's in front of the lecture room i want to quickly finish filming before they are done with lectures because they have lectures you guys i was setting it up and i was so shy because people were there but regardless it is what it is okay and i also feel like I also feel like the nature of job you do determine how you are going to see certain things so as a content creator now when you see like certain backgrounds or certain events it just speaks to your mindset that you have to capture this event you have to capture this background you know and this kind of like relates to what one of our professor in class was saying that she has like a brother who is a graphic designer and he's always looking out for colors like he's always trying to like imagine how will this color go with this color and i feel like it just happens like naturally so even as a fashion designer you can just be going and then you are observing people's styles you are trying to see if you can create like certain styles like that you are trying to see how they were able to like achieve a particular style so i feel like it just works for people generally let me know if you guys can relate to what i'm actually saying so this background is actually very cute i'm going to show you guys like the background i intend to film like two videos today but one disadvantage of this is the fact that i might not be able to be changing my outfit because i'm actually alone i can't leave like equipment and then go to the restroom to change it might be a bit risky i know it's safe but i don't want to take um such chances so it simply means that i'll be using like one outfit to like film like two videos and there about you know that is how it's gonna look like so just in case if you see me using like one outfit to create two videos you guys just know <laughs> you guys already know the deal okay but let me show you guys the background now so guys can you see the background you can see how cute it is this is somewhere in the school i've gone ahead to also like set up my camera i've kept this chair where i'm gonna sit down and this is what it looks like okay so let's go ahead now and film the video so in today's video i'm 
going to be talking about how to manage your finances. You guys, making money is one thing, and the ability to also manage your finances is another thing. And if you are not able to manage your finance so well or averagely well, you are going to struggle financially. You can be making like a whole lot of money, but if you are not able to manage it, you are going to be stranded at the end of the day. So I'm going to be sharing a few things on how to manage your finances regardless of what you do. Even as a student, you have to be able to manage your finances. As an entrepreneur, if you work for someone, financial growth is very important and it's Financial growth is very important and this is something you should incorporate into your lifestyle. So the first step I'm going to say is that have a budget. <laughs> have a budget. Budgeting is very important. It is necessary or even compulsory for you to have a budget. Have a budget that you work with as a business person, as a student, as a you know, financial, you just need to have a budget. As long as you are making money, it is also compulsory for you to have a budget. So when you have a budget for the amount of money you are going to spend on groceries, you have a budget for you know, your transportation, you have a budget for savings, you have a budget for investments, you have a budget for, you need to create a budget, okay? And for me, I feel like budget is related to how much you make and also the kind of lifestyle you so guys, I'm done filming. I was able to film like two videos. Um, I was able to film like two videos. So you guys need to check out those videos. I'm heading back to the dorm. I have a lot to do guys. To be honest with you guys, I have a lot to do. And I just have this mindset that I feel like I'm not doing enough or I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. Maybe that is why I have so much to do. <laughs> I don't know if you have that feeling or if you can relate basically so i need to edit a video that should go up tomorrow which is sunday a vlog i started um i started editing it but i'm not done yet and i also need to finish up editing for my church so i'm in charge of the media for my church um you guys i just have to do that also um Tomorrow is Sunday and also I also have to work on my thesis so we are asked to pick like a topic and also write a proposal for my thesis which we are submitting on Monday guys and I haven't even thought about the topic like I'm just like God just give me a topic that I can easily relate to it because at the end of the day you have to write it and you also have to like present it and here yeah, they are very strict about like plagiarism and all of that so you have to like make sure that it's something you are working with like you are working on it so I have to do that like this weekend if I can't do that today I have to do that tomorrow after church so most likely I will just use the rest of the day to edit like the youtube videos and also like the one for the church and tomorrow after church i will just like deal with the thesis and look for the topic and write the proposal then we start again on monday with going to school so let me just pack up hi guys how you guys doing it's a beautiful monday morning and i'm starting this vlog on a monday morning so guys i've been having like this form of self-doubt where you know i'm beginning to like doubt myself that um based on the kind of content that i'm putting out you know i feel like my life has like a certain routine which is boring you know boring in the sense that i do like the same thing over and over and over again and i'm beginning to doubt myself that you know is this how vlogs are gonna be or is there something i'm gonna do to make the vlogs more interesting because i really don't want to be posting like the same activity over and over again but the truth is my life at this point just has like the same activity over and over again i know that there are days where there might be different activities coming up but if i'm to vlog just only when those activities are up it means i will not be able to put up content 
and then on the second thought i'm like it's a lifestyle vlog it simply means like showing people like your lifestyle including days that are good days that are bad and you never can tell you know it might even be the content that you think that people don't really like you know aside like the views and all might even be the content that we inspire somebody or the content that will actually like mean a lot to someone who might just like stumble upon your channel so i feel like i'm just having that form of self-doubt i really don't know why because i feel like my vlogs are you know maybe the same thing coming up over and over again and that's the reason why i didn't vlog last week because i was like there's no activity there's no new activity it's just the same routine but today i'm like you know what i'm gonna pick up my camera i'm gonna vlog i'm gonna you know vlog the way it is and this is how my life is you know um so yeah today is monday it's a monday morning mondays are basically like a free day for me we only have like one lectures today which is like our thesis seminar so basically every monday we usually like present our thesis topic and that is basically what we have today and that is usually around 2 p.m so most times you know all the mondays mornings like 2 p.m are usually like free and then from 2 p.m to like 4 5 we we'll go for the thesis presentation and that is all but let me tell you guys something mondays are also like one of my best days here in poland and that is because mondays are the days i go to swim so mondays are more or less like my swimming day and i'm gonna resume back today so during the holiday we had like two weeks break from the first semester to the second semester we we're not able to swim because the swimming pool um has like an affiliation with the school so once you're a student of the school you can swim in that swimming pool without paying any fee you know so because the school was on holiday <laughs> we couldn't swim also you get but anyways i'm going to resume back today to the swimming you know section and i'm so excited about it i also feel like that is one activity here in poland that just keeps me happy and i also like visit the gym you know twice or three times a week but let me tell you guys something there are times where i struggle with just once a week and then it's fine i think like last week as an example i only went to the gym once <laughs> but anyways you know keeping fit including like gym or swimming is something that i'm also very intentional about this year i really want to like get involved into it and just make sure that my health is actually healthy so before that the swimming time is usually around 6 to 7 p.m sometimes in the evening so we are going to spend the day together starting from this morning and i'm going to bring you guys along so this morning what i have to do before time for class which is by two is that i need to wash the toilet today okay i need to wash the toilet today that is something i'm also going to do today and i'm going to bring you guys along but before then i need to do some administrative jobs in case you guys don't know i am a fashion designer and i own a fashion brand called tg designs so i'm basically going to sit down on the website i have to include few pieces of collections that were produced to the site and then see how you know it's kind of like see the analysis of the site see the kind of dresses that people are like like people really like or the dresses that are bringing people to the website so basically one thing about only like a website is the fact that you also have to dedicate time to read the analysis of the site you know it's going to show you like the dresses that people are attracted to why people are not buying certain dresses and when you check out for dresses that people don't really buy or there's no attraction on the dress you can just like put it off or it also helps you to know that you are not to create dresses like this you know and then for the dresses where people have been attracted to it you can see people buy or just like like or just follow your shop because of that dress it simply means that your followers or people who come across your shop loves dress like this so what that simply means is that you are going to produce dresses along that area so when i recently um relocated to Poland based on studies I kind of like put like my business on hold because this is like a new journey I needed time to like stable stabilize and then check out like the the city the country and just like set to in because of the fact that one I also resumed late and I also had the intention of getting like a job as soon as possible 
but i'm also gonna say that you know things um things don't really work out like as soon as we want it to be because that is human nature we expect things to really go as soon as possible how we really want it to be and sometimes it might not really come that way so i have to like put up the website again and just like productions are still going on back in nigeria your african dresses are still made back in nigeria where we have like our factory i haven't like moved the business to poland yet i haven't like um but like the i haven't moved the business to poland yet i haven't like started producing the dresses in poland yet this is something that i am also very open to but before i do that i also want to check like the legal um backing of owning a business here in poland before i go into this however this simply means that business is still going on you can shop for dresses prom dresses african dresses you guys need to support my business i'm going to put the link of the website in the description box below and for the sake of this video if you are watching it i'm going to give it 10 percent off all you have to do is to use the discount code relocation so use the discount code relocation and then you get 10 percent off so i'm also very open to like moving down a section or a brand of the business here in poland but i need to really take my time and survey things and also know like the kind of business in terms of fashion that people here in poland really want and most especially the legal backing of owning a business that is something that i really want to go into make like my research if it's okay for me before i move a branch of the business here in poland but aside that business is still going on as usual i am definitely just like monitoring it from the website and i'm also gonna say that you know just in case if you plan on relocating based on studies marriage or whatever and you have a business this is something that really works for me so i'm gonna say that few months before you relocate you know few months could be six months it could be one year before you relocate try to absent yourself from the business and see how your business is going to run so this simply means that employ people put people in charge of it in case of a fashion like line or a fashion brand for an example have contact of suppliers that you can actually trust you know for maybe the raw materials have people on ground who are actually going to help you so and then absent yourself from the business it simply means that for that six months you'll be like that six months you are in nigeria as an example but don't show up at your office space you know just behave like you are not there and then watch how your business is going to grow now i'm going to say that that six months for an example of you upsetting yourself from the business physically one is also going to help you to see how your business is going to run when you are not there two you'll be able to make all the mistakes that you need to make while you are there so you're going to see like mistakes of how like your staffs are behaving because you are not there or mistakes from suppliers giving out fabrics that are not like the accurate measurements you are going to experience like all the mistakes while you are still in nigeria but because you are absent from the business physically you can correct those mistakes and i also feel like it's also going to prepare you ahead of you not being available physically and then seeing how far your business can grow you're going to make all the mistakes while you're there you're going to correct a lot of things and then eventually when you leave you have an idea of how your business is going to run in your absence you have an idea of quality suppliers you are going to reach out to you have an idea of your tailors or those that are going to help you to like make the dresses and know so this is something that i did i remember that i had to like stop going to the physical store for a whole year when i started planning like to relocate and i'm going to say that it's kind of like affected the business in the beginning because people are going to be used to seeing you physically in the store or seeing you physically in the shop but as time goes on your customers are going to realize that you are not there but they are also getting quality they're also getting like the exact thing they will get even when you are there so by the time you eventually relocate that is not going to eat them as a form of surprise or as a form of shock and also the quality of your business will still remain the same because you have 
test run it even when you are there another advantage again is the fact that you can track like your expenses and also your profits we all know that you know in order for your business to grow you have to properly be accountable for your financial area of the business right so when you are away of the when you are away like physically from the business even when you are still available it helps you to like track your business so basically for me what i did was that i kind of like limited physical contact in the warehouse in the shop for an example i shifted my business from physical form of sewing to online form of business this really affected it in the beginning but i'm going to say that on a long run this is one of the best decisions i've ever made so what i did was normally because i'm always there physically people come into the store to say they want to make dresses and then you measure them and then you have to make the addresses but because i wanted to like absent myself physically physically from the business i moved everything to a digital form so all businesses all businesses transactions are done on the website you shop for dress only on the website so with this i can track how many orders i have a day i can track how many orders i have in a week and you are not coming physically to the store so it simply means that you order for your dresses online you put in your size chart and then your dresses get delivered to you with that as a customer you are not really after which is the boss in this business who owns the business i want to see the manager i want to talk to the manager you are not after that you just go on the website you see the dresses that you want you feel it you feel it your size make sure your size is correct and you are not after whoever owns the business yours is to ensure that the dress that is going to be delivered to you is actually like exactly what you see and also of a good quality and so you as the entrepreneur or the owner of the business you can track like your finances from your website all you have to do is just to get familiar with the website and then see like the orders this also is going to limit the rate at which your staffs will be able to have access to your finances you know because one thing i'm going to say is if you put your business in the hands of people who are not trustworthy when you relocate there is every possibility that your business is going to run bankrupt before you come back like i've heard a whole lot of stories of people trusting their business in the hands of someone who they feel like is trustworthy and on the long run the person disappointed them so for me i really don't want that to happen because my business is something that i have labored for for a very long time and this is something that i want to keep for a very long time you get so it limits like your finances are going to have limits your your staffs are not going to have access to your to your finances so when they don't have access to your finances they can't really tamper with the financial area of the business what they are going to see is just the orders so when you check out the orders you have in a week you give them this is the dress sample this is the sizes produce it and let me know once you are done you know for me this actually worked out for me and in case if you are a business person or an entrepreneur and you are thinking of relocating and how to like manage your business this is something that i did but let me know in the comment section what you've done if you've relocated and then you own a business so that we can learn from each other aside that now I think I've said a lot this morning aside that now so I'm gonna work on my system after that my plans for today is definitely to do some like admin works on my website and also we also have thesis presentation today by 2 p.m. so I also need to check out like my thesis make sure that I have like the powerpoints ready then once it's 12 I'm gonna be done with all the administrative work so that I can clean up the toilet and then get ready for the class so come along with me and i hope you guys enjoy vlogs like this so yeah let's go so guys i'm about to wash the toilet and basically two rooms shares the same toilet so there are some rooms that are three people in a room two people in a room one single person in the room but the idea is that two rooms shares the same toilet so if there are three in the two rooms it means it's going to be six people if it's two people in the room it means it's going to be two people sharing the toilet so it's just basically like two rooms and yeah so let me show you guys like what the toilet looks like the view of the toilet and the bath and then we'll go ahead and wash this 
toilet i have about one hour to wash the toilet and also get ready to school so i'm going to be as quick as possible and i'm also going to try to bring you guys along also but let me show you guys what the toilet looks like yeah so once you enter this way from the door you have like the bath area this is what it looks like so this is what the shower bath looks like we have like the bath area and then we have like this um what am i gonna call it like this light door and this is what it looks like at this point yeah we just have like these angles for towel and this other part is just like a slab so just like a slab where people have like their bathing stuffs there and then here we have like the toilet seat and this is like the you get the flusher for the seat here we have this washing hand basin and this is what this section looks like so the toilet part is by this section and yes we have like the mirror and this is what it looks like and this is the fine girl behind the camera yeah so let's get ready let's try to like wash this toilet and bath so basically we kind of like rotate it we have like a roaster for you know those that are washing the toilet so bring you guys along let's go Very nice. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, yeah. 